Hey, what is going on guys? It is your boy Tech here back once again with yes yet another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video And today as you guys can see from what you're looking at the gameplay. No, we are not summoning guys I'm sorry. I'm so sorry guys. We are not summoning today I know you all love the summoning videos But your boy kind of has to take a break from welling out at the moment because I'm actually going to swim with the wells this weekend I'm finally going on vacation for the first time in like two years So I'm sure you can all understand that I have to put my finances towards that for the time being but don't fret Next week we'll be back with some more summonings as you guys guys know blazing fest is coming back next week so expect a lot of that but without further ado i don't want to make this video too long so let's just get straight into it so today's video is going to be a little bit different guys i know we don't have a lot of discussions on this channel i kind of want to do more of those because i would like to feel a little bit more engaged with you guys since we aren't streaming at the moment but with that being said today's video is going to strictly revolve around lr vegeto blue why i think he's not here yet why i think he will not dokkan awaken from his current tur form and just a few things around the dokkan community pertaining to this future card that i do agree with that i don't agree with and this that and the third so with that being said let's just get straight into it now one person that i want to note in particular is nano Nano said a lot of things in his Where is LR Vegito Blue video that I did agree with guys. A lot of things that I'm going to make note of in this video as well. A lot of things that I did agree with. Um, one thing in particular that I didn't agree with but we'll get into that a little bit later. First I want to give a special shout out to Mr. Nordifex. Guys if you don't know who Nordifex is, he is the man that made the LR Vegito Blue fan card, well fan made card at that. Um, it is an absolutely beautiful art piece guys. Make sure you go show him some love, follow him on Twitter and just you know do what we do guys. We show everybody love. Just do what you do do so getting into why i think the card is not here yet which like i said i'm going to be referencing nano a lot in this video because he did say a lot of stuff that i did agree with is because of some things probably a lot of us don't think about when it comes to these new units especially lrs you know us as a community we're kind of on that we want the card and we want it now type gig which that's kind of not how it works unfortunately these things do take time you know there's so much that goes into these cards like uh super tech animations getting the licensing for the animations for the card arts um leader skills and i know somebody's gonna make a to be released leader skill joke down in the comment section but that is also going to play a part in why i think he's not here yet and also guys you know correct me if i'm wrong about this down in the comment section below but if my memory serves me correctly the legendary election was for the global side if i'm interpreting that right the legendary election was for the global side so if that's true that would insinuate to a lot of people that the next lr would come to global first which by now i'm pretty sure we all know that that's probably not going to happen with the way things are going in the game right now because you know jp is so far ahead of global and also the jp fan base just seems to be a lot more loyal to the game than the global side now that's not a knock at the global side that's just saying that you know a lot of global players aren't really happy with the things that are happening in the game right now starting all the way back with the 2b release fiasco with ssj4 gogeta and omega shenron all the way up to what's going on right now with the ink kid boo and super 17 coming before angel goku but that's the conversation for another day now what i think they're gonna do with this card guys is they're probably gonna release him on both versions at the same time i just cannot see them releasing him on global first and i feel like everybody would think it's a shaft for global if they release him on jp first so the smart thing to do here would be release him on both versions at the same time which is another reason i feel like they're gonna hold off on him for a little while because it's looking like he may be a category leader and as you guys know we don't have categories on global yet so at that time when they do release him if they do introduce categories at the same time we will probably get our leader skills for ssj4 gogeta and omega shenron around that time as well so with that being said the two categories that i see being thrown around a lot in the community that he could be leaders for are patara and dismal future now a Patara category is looking like it's going to be really, really limited. So I don't know if I see him being a category leader for that, but Dismal Future, I can definitely see, you know, I can definitely see him being on a team with Rose, uh, Merge Zamasu, Rage Trunks, Mai. That is a stacked team right there. But that also leads me into my next point, why I don't think he will awaken from his current TUR form. Now, I know a lot of people, possibly even you watching this video right now, want Vegito to awaken from his current TUR form into his LR form, which is plausible and not plausible at the same time um first of all you know bandai is a business i i get that they want us to keep spending all these banners you know but also on our part you know a lot of us can't keep spending all these banners like this there are a lot of free-to-play players out there that maybe don't have the means to try to pull the new card every time a new banner comes out so it would be plausible to them to just awaken the unit that they already have right now but at the same time everybody and their mom has a vegeto blue so i feel like it would just make the game more interesting again if we had to summon for another lr you know they're called legendary rare for a reason lowest pull rates in the game the 
rarest cards in the game. A LR Vegito Blue wouldn't be that rare if he awakened from his current TUR form. And the reason that I think that he will not awaken the most, and I have not heard anybody talk about this, which it, it is kind of an ambiguous thing because it could change at the drop of a hat, is the man's passive skill. Unfathomable speed, great chance to launch up to two additional attacks, each of which has a chance to become a super attack, and I think damage received from normal attacks is like minus 40% or 30% or something like that, and he counters with tremendous power. That passive skill is already disgusting enough. An LR that has the chance to super attack four times in one turn, that is more broken than LR Gohan, guys. Come on now. Just think about it. If he's all the way maxed out, even if you're just level 150, no dupes in him, there's a good chance that his attack attack his base attack will be around 15k with no dupes in him imagine putting dupes in him so i just think that that will just make the game more broken especially with his leader skill you know nano said he didn't really agree with nord effects leader skill that he gave him super key plus three hp attack and defense plus 90 percent um i kind of get what he's saying right there that a hero lead having hp attack and defense plus 90 percent you can literally run any hero card with that man and they're gonna be unstoppable i kind of agree with him in that sense but at the same time when we get this card i'm expecting category to drop also so if that is true then gogeta and omega sharon will have their 150 percent boost so at the same time it won't be as broken but like i said you can run any hero with him if they do give him that leader skill so i kind of see where nano's coming from right there and that is also why i think he won't awaken from his current tur form into an lr because just think about that guys if he does get his 90 percent uh plus hp attack and defense leader skill and he keeps his passive skill which lets him super up to four times in one turn well he has a chance to super up to four times in one turn he is going to be tanking, he's going to be countering, he has a chance to super attack 4 times in 1 turn, he's going to have at least 2 attack boosting link skills. This man is going to literally be broken guys, this is not going to be fair and everybody is going to have him, it's just going to make the game even more boring than it is now. But if you guys enjoyed this video and whether you agree with me or you don't agree with me, let me know down in the comment section below, please keep it respectful guys. Be sure to leave a like guys, this is the easiest way to share the video around, make sure you smash that subscribe button and without further ado, I will see you all in the next video, peace.